Hi camera lovers, Michael from Fujifilm here. In another episode, we talked about the engineering and design behind what I call focus by wire systems in modern cameras uh, to do manual focusing. Today, we're going to talk about enhancements that we have on, on the menu level and through buttons in the cameras that make it easier for you to see whether the picture is sharp or not. All right. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is a dual display function, and you won't find this on all the cameras, but this happens to be an X-T4. And when you're in manual focus mode, if you press the display back button, it will scroll through different views. And one of them you'll get to is this dual display, where on the left, you'll see the entire image, the entire taking frame that is uh, enabled with whatever aspect ratio you have selected. To the right of that will be a smaller box. The smaller box is a magnified picture of wherever your autofocus point was located by way of the joystick. So this gives you a magnified area that you can turn the focus ring and see whether that part is sharp and at the same time be able to see the entire image to the left of it. I happen to think that one is very, very useful. And you can have that either in the EVF or the LCD. Um, now, another thing that you're going to find uh, on all the cameras, but it operates in different ways, is something called focus check. And this very simply is a magnification of the image through the EVF or the LCD. Uh, now, it doesn't zoom the lens, but it looks like it's a zoomed-in image. And we can do that, again, because we have an electronic viewfinder. So on any of the cameras that have a rear function wheel, all you have to do is press that wheel in with your thumb. Just press it in, and the picture will magnify. And when you're in the magnified mode, you can then turn that wheel and change the amount of zoom ratio very simple. So you press it to magnify in, press it again to go back to normal view. Uh, the cameras that don't have that rear wheel, like say the X-T200 or the X-A7, uh, you can do the same thing by way of the actual uh, focus selector joystick, and that is by simply pressing that in. Now that is a preference you need to set in the menu. It may or may not be enabled in that way, but again, for the cameras that don't have that back wheel, the uh, AF joystick can give you that focus check function. Now, something I want to point out that's in our menus under the AF MF tab, uh, it's usually it's down on the second page, is an item that's called focus check. When that is turned on, this magnification will happen automatically as soon as you touch the focus ring to turn it either way. You literally don't really have to turn it much. Just the slightest movement causes the picture to magnify. So some of you may like that, and for some of you it might drive you crazy. You might want to just leave it off and then just do focus check uh, on your own with your thumb. So then we have some focus assists, and they are, again, in the AF-MF menu, and it's on the second page usually, and it's simply called MF Assist, and there are several choices. So the one that's labeled standard basically means it's just a plain view on the screen, no enhancements. Uh, the one that's called Digital Split Image gives you two choices, monochrome and color. The Digital Split Image will give you a square box in the viewfinder that will be made up of four horizontal panels. And as you turn the focus ring, those panels slide apart and together. And it affects the verticals in the picture. And the verticals will move left and right like that. So when something is sharp, the verticals will be lined up. Uh, and your choices in the menu are monochrome or color. And what that means is when it's in monochrome mode, that box will be a black and white box with the uh, color picture area around it looking normally whenever film simulation you have. Usually the second line down on, again, the cameras that will have this is something called the digital microprism. And what this is, is it's going to give you a circular area inside the picture frame. 
uh, that is going to replicate the look that you found in 1960s, 1970s film cameras that had a ground glass with a special kind of a Fresnel lens built into it that when the picture was out of focus, it kind of broke apart and got uh, shimmery and sort of sparkly and weird looking. And then when it was sharp, it looked perfect. Uh, the one I use the most, um, and I find, think in my personal opinion, you'll find the most helpful is something called Focus Peak Highlight, or uh, just basically peaking. And you have a choice of several different colors, like you have white, red, blue, and then you have a low and a high setting. Now what Focus Peaking does is it looks for sharp areas of contrast in the image. Um, and usually if something is high contrast, that implies it's also sharp. And what it does is it's gonna draw sort of a buzzy colored outline on those edges. Now, I recommend choosing the low setting, not the high, because the low is more selective. It's not as aggressive. If you put high on, you tend to see the, uh, the colored outline on too many areas, in my opinion. So go with low, and also be careful of what color you choose, because you want a color that's contrasting to what your subject is. Case in point would be you shooting a portrait of somebody with the blue sky in the background. So blue would not be the best color to select for the focus peak highlight. You should choose red instead because it's a contrasting color. Okay, so that's manual focus assist with Fujifilm X-Series and GFX cameras. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.